Hello there, Libra. Welcome to the You versus Them reading. This is your side. This is your person's side. In the middle will be your combined energies. So let's see. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you have to come across it, that's when you meant to see it. Let's start out with what is currently going on with you. What is happening in your life? Hmm. Oh, something's stuck. What's stuck for you? Let me just do this a little more. I would have stopped there, but I don't like being stuck. Ooh, the world. So something's completing your... You're completing a cycle to start something new. Oh, it's going to be making you very happy. Leo energy. And you're cutting out what does not belong. It just feels like you're taking your power back here. Speaking your truth. Okay. Bottom of the deck we have... Oh, there's going to be a celebration too. Celebrating this new truth. This new this wet new way. Um, ending this cycle is very exciting for you. Okay. Let's clarify. Why do we have the world here? Why is the world card here? Ooh, look at all this happiness around you. Either that or you um, have a, a very strong Leo connection here. Let's see. But I do feel like you're getting... If you're not feeling the happiness you were about to. We're closing this cycle, starting something new. And we... Oh my gosh. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. Are you coming into a lot of money? Looks like you're doing good financially. Wow, Nine of Cups. Beautiful. Congratulations to you, whatever's going on in your life. Uh, we do have the Empress, yes. This is one of the most abundant cards in the deck, the Empress. It looks like you're coming into financial security. You're not feeling it yet. You're about to. I like it. I like it. And, um, well, the Empress is Libra Taurus energy, too, on top of it all. Big celebration. Okay, now, the person that you're thinking about, the person on the mind, what's going on with them? Let's see what's happening with them. Look at this. Okay. They might be trying to balance something out in their life at this time, but they are also coming across as the Empress. So. And the Queen of Swords speaking the truth. Trying to... Yeah, I really feel like they maybe they want to balance something out with you, but there's a lot of love coming in here, too. Oh, it's going to take a charm. I don't need a charm. Let's see. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Oh. So may maybe someone's trying to balance something out. They're worried about their up at night trying to figure out how to do this. Can't sleep. What about the Empress? Ooh, we have the King of Cups. Okay, so this person can be having a lot of love here. A lot of emotions that they want to express. They want to create something here with the Empress. Let me get a charm here for the King of Cups. Oh, they've been waiting here. Hanging in there. Got the hanger. Okay, waiting for the right time, maybe. A lot of love. Ace of Cups. Let's see. Maybe you're coming across as the Queen of Swords. They don't know how to approach you. They want to balance things out with you, I would say. Whoa, another Ace of Cups. This person loves you a lot. Look at this. We even have the lovers. Okay, this person wants to express themselves. Or they could be seeing you as the Empress. Hmm, okay. So you both know you're the Empress. Okay, I like that. Okay, now. What are your thoughts this person what are your thoughts what do you think about them let's see the empress again okay so your thoughts are did you leave them out in the cold did they leave you out in the cold you see them as the king of pentacles someone financially stable doing well um having a good Head for business, maybe. Let's get a King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And, okay, this could be a new love coming in, too. 
with them. Maybe you want to rekindle this love. Because you do have the Two of Cups. This is a soulmate connection. And this King of Pentacles. Okay. Let's clarify. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? What's that all about? Okay, Six of Wands. You want to have a victory at this person. You don't want to leave them out in the cold. If you left them out in the cold or who got left out in the cold, you don't want that to be anymore. You want something to work here for you guys. What about the King of Pentacles? There, you want this truth here. You want to cut out what does not belong. You want to have the Ace of Truth here, the Ace of Swords. Okay, so you want the truth. Your thoughts are having the truth. Well, you have to say the truth or they have to say the truth. Wow, the lovers. Yeah, there's a very strong love connection. You both have the lovers here. Okay, and we, oh, a surprise tower. Something suddenly happening, something out of the blue. Surprise, change. Okay, so now, their thoughts about you. What are their thoughts about you? Whoa. Okay, you're copying your cards here, though. Look at this. Okay, so they really do see you as the Queen of Swords. You have your back to them, or you're um, denying your feelings, not expressing them, but something, they might be thinking of surprising you. Okay, um, Aries Scorpio energy with the tower. They're holding their own here, though. They want to fight for this connection. There might be competition, but they, they're willing to fight for you. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the Seven of Swords? What's it? They might be trying to keep you from hurting them by maybe taking away your weapons or <laughs> not giving you any reason to try to hurt them. This person has a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. They really feel bad. They're missing you. They want this Two of Cups. They're not sure if you're going to let them have the Two of Cups. Emperor. They might see you as very strong and controlling. Oh, I got to put a charm on the Queen of, Cups, on Queen of Swords. Let me do it this way. Okay, we have the My Little Pony prancing in here. This person, they might see that you're in full control here. You have, you know, it's all up to you. You're, you're in charge. You're the emperor. Or they also could see themselves as the emperor to your empress. But you have the control at this time. Where they're trying to, they might be trying to be their emperor that they want them to be. But you actually have control. Let's see, Queen of Swords. And why do we have, and the Empress Aries energy. So then we have the tower, Aries Scorpio energy. Let's clarify this tower. The Queen of Pentacles. They see you as doing quite well financially, too. Yeah, you're very... Now, see, both... We have the King of Pentacles and we have the Queen of Pentacles. You guys are a pretty good match. You have the Emperor and the Empress. The Queen and King of Pentacles. Queen of Cups here. A lot of love. We have the King and Queen of Cups. King and Queen of Pentacles. King and Queen of Swords. You guys are... And, and then we have the Emperor and the Empress. You guys are perfect. It's like a perfect match. You, I think you both feel like each other has whatever is... Whatever... I mean, you guys are just perfect match. You're just... You connect in all different areas. But something was held back here. Something happened between you guys. Let's see the Queen of Pentacles. The Charm. Swords, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. A Rabbit. Yeah, they want a new start with you. Hoping that something will happen here. They see you as very loving, caring, nurturing. Whew. Okay. Now let's see what else comes up. What are your feelings towards this person? What are your feelings towards this person? Wow. High Priestess right in the middle here. That is Virgo Cancer Energy. You have someone juggling over here and someone pouring back and forth here. This, your feelings are something has to be coming to balance. There's secrets. There's something you're feeling the energy of this person that there's not. You know, something has to be more balanced with them. It's not balance. Ah, an opportunity here, though. 
there's definitely an opportunity for you guys to make something of this. But there's going to be some surprises coming in. Let's see. Why do we have the two of pentacles here? Why is the two of pentacles here? The hangman waiting for the right time. Seeing things in a different perspective. Pisces energy. What about this high priestess? What about these secrets? So something's being hidden here. And you want the truth. Because you have the uh, ace of swords here twice. The emperor. Control. Trying to take control of something here. Are you both trying to take control maybe? Now the empress came out twice. The emperor came out twice. These energy is really strong. You're, you're mirroring each other. You feel the same thing here. What about this temper? Sagittarius energy. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have the Ten of Cups. A happy home life. Being happy together. To bring this all together. To balance this out. Someone's moving away from something to come towards you. Or or you're moving maybe go towards them. Someone might have to make a move. There might You might be a distance between you. You also might be traveling at this time. Or thinking of traveling. Maybe you're thinking of taking a trip. Or you might be thinking of relocating. Okay. Let's see here. Why do I feel so crooked? Okay. Let's see here. What are their feelings for you? Knight of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. And, okay, they definitely want to come towards you. Now here they're trying to decide. Come in quickly with the chariot here. Or come in slow and steady. They don't want to blow it. They're trying to figure out how to balance this out. How to fix this. They see you as very financially secure, nurturing, loving, caring. Got the Queen of Pentacles here. We get a charm for the Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we have here music. So is there something to do with music with you guys? Is someone in music? Is that a career? A music career? Or does someone... May they might come and serenade you or have something to do with music. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles. Get a charm for the Queen of Pentacles. A lizard. Okay, this is protection. Also change. So maybe your feelings are that maybe they changed or you're trying to change to be who they want you them who they want you to be. Shed an old skin. Something new here. Okay, let's see. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Yeah, they definitely want a new beginning with you, the full Aries Aquarius energy. Take a leap of faith. They want to. They want to come towards you. It looks like this person's coming. Whether they come in real quick with the chariot, or if they come in slow, but then they might want things to take off real quick. Here we have the two of pentacles. Yeah, they're they they're walking away from something to come towards you. They might have to leave something behind in order to be with you. They might have to give up something. Okay, what about the queen of pentacles? Why is the queen of pentacles here? Uh, see, they have to balance things out. Justice. Things have to be fair. Things have to be balanced. Libra energy. That's your energy. And then we have the hangman. You both have the hangman here. It's like you are definitely mirroring each other. You're getting the same cards. So you feel the same. Seeing things in a different perspective. Waiting for the right time maybe to approach. Okay, what action might you take towards them? What is the action that you might take towards them? Let's see. Okay, you feel stuck right now. In your head about it. You're looking back at the past trying to make a decision. There's things that are hidden that you're not seeing. So I don't think you're making a move. You're going to wait for them to make a move. Wait for them to show you more. Show something here. There's something hidden. There's a mystery here. Yeah, see there's something lying, cheating, or gossip. or um, Five is changes too. But there's something that's not right here. Someone might be doing something. Oh, look at this. We have the work card underneath. Might be at work, or it might be someone working to try to uh, cause some kind of trouble. 
Let's see. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Empress. Wow. You're not going to make a move because you are the Empress. You are. You're waiting for them to come towards you. Yeah, you're waiting for this when they come in. How are they going to come in? Are they going to come in as the Knight of Wands? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Try to romance you. Let's see. Peace or come in peace? What's coming in? Or they bring this conflict. But you don't want this conflict. They're trying to come in and bring this conflict. If it has to do with their family or something, you don't want it. Um, have a Knight of Cups on the bottom here. Let's see. Wow, Knight of Swords. Now who's on the bottom? We have... You're in your independence. You're enjoying your independence. So this person has to have something offered. Look how um, your action to take towards them. You have two knights that are actually the most fast-moving knights. The Knight of Wands and Knight of Swords. You want swift, swift action. I don't feel like you're taking it. I feel like you, you're waiting for them to hurry up and do it. It's like my, they might have taken a long time. You might be tired of waiting. Here we have... Yeah, we have a little fairy here. It's like, is this going to be bringing in some kind of mischief or something like that? I'm, I'm not trusting this. Okay. They have to do something here. They have to make a move. So let's see. Let's see if they are going to do that. What action might they take towards you? Let's see. What action? They're undecided. They don't know what to do. Ah, independent, single, may they're making sure that you are independent. They're going to get a message to you. They're going to reach out somehow. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and they just send you a message. Taking a leap of faith. They want to transform this with the uh, frog here. Let's see, let's see. Okay, yeah, they want to offer you their cup of love. So this is um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Get a charm on that. And we have here. Okay, we have a little bird on a branch. Communication. They're waiting. They're sitting. I think they're sitting and they're watching and they're waiting. They want to come towards you, but they might be waiting for the right time. Sitting on a branch, waiting. Okay, let's see. Why is the two of swords here? This person is not seeing something because they're blindfolded, but they're also sort of closed off. What's going on here? Okay, we have here, they're working on this. They want to work on this. They're not exactly sure how to. And now this Nine of Pentacles, this Independence, this Single. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. Maybe you are in with someone right now and they're waiting for you to be free. Or maybe they are and they're waiting to be free. Someone might be waiting for a time to be free and independent. Okay, what about this Page of Wands? They want this commitment. They want to tell you that they want this commitment. Yeah, look at this. And we also have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. This is commitment with the Four of Wands. And the, this person loves you a lot. And they want a commitment with you. They just need to come towards you. Uh, you do not need to do something because uh, the ball's in their court. It's, they have to make a move. Let's see. Let's see what um, what's your mutual energy. What's going on with you guys? Mutual energy. Let's see. Uncertainty. Yeah, you're both uncertain about whether or not this will work. Or if you should give it a chance. And then we have Wheel of Luck. Are you both watch, waiting for a divine timing? Destiny? You know, it almost feels like that. If you're meant to be together, you will. Which is true. Let's see. A letter. Yeah. You're going to hear from this person. They're going to communicate with you. I'm going to get one more. Nurture. To nurture this connection. Hope. There's, you both have hope, but you both need, want to nurture it, and you both want this to work. Okay, I can put that here. So we have the Wheel of Fortune here twice, too. Divine timing, destiny, hoping that this will work out. Okay, so now, see what the word is. We have the King of Pentacles. Let's skip on this King of Pentacles. We have here drama, future. Okay, someone might be thinking that there might be drama in the future, and they're really concerned about that. They don't want that. You dealt with drama before. You don't want this again. Okay, what about this King of Cups here? 
we have mature gift sharing okay so this person has probably matured over the years if you haven't seen them in a while and now they want to give you a gift to share something with you okay let me move these up so what about this knight of cups marry new start later okay maybe this this is coming out more like this new start later this person wants to marry you later okay new new start marry get married later but take a take a chance here maybe what about this um knight of swords we have likely let's move these up here too likely obsessed finish maybe someone's finished being obsessed likely obsessed finish finish likely okay um take it the resume it's not gonna be for everyone okay what about this knight of pentacles we have career past life married okay maybe you met in your during your career or you had past life you were married Does that makes sense could be just do it this way okay what about this queen of swords sincere will you okay Someone was immature or made me sore them immature, but now they're being sincere and they're going to ask you a question that starts with, will you? So let me do this. Um, this is a queen of pentacles. We have alone keeps the money excited. Someone is excited to get you alone. They might tell you to keep the money or someone's keeping money. Let me get a clarifier on the money one. This one, I think. Let's see. Let's see the light here. Oh. Okay, this is a jewelry store. Yeah, this is a jewelry store. So someone might be getting jewelry here. Okay. What about this um, Queen of Pentacles here? We have accused present the end. So someone might accuse someone, something maybe a present or present them or something about the end. Accusing them, maybe accusing them, uh, ending something in the present. Okay, what about the page of wands? Love, surprise, realize. Maybe someone realized they're surprised that they love you. Does that make sense? Maybe they didn't realize it before. Okay, what about this night of cups? Honest, separate closure. Okay, maybe in the end, someone's going to be honest and you're, you're going to separate and have closure. But you need the closure. So if that's what it is, then that's what it is. Let's see. Let me just... Okay. Let's see what signs you can be dealing with. What are the signs? Capricorn. Taurus. Aquarius. Virgo. Look at that. All the earth signs right away. Sagittarius. And Leo. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. So we have Capricorn, Taurus, Aquarius, Virgo, or Sagittarius, and Leo. Now for the letters. Do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's first and last name initial, and someone has a middle name, you know that middle name. You get that initial also. All the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. 
we have K V E D N I L T O O G. Okay, so letters we have for you today are K V E D N I L T O O G. Let's see, we have Mary, Artie, Carleen, Maria, Austin, Mary Ann, Bill, Chad, Gaynor, G-A-Y-N-L-O-R, Lisa, and Brian, B-R-Y-A-N. And we have exactly 11. Awesome. Okay, guys, so those are the names. Now, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal reading. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please leave a comment. Please let me know what resonates. I love to read your comments. And if it does not resonate, check out your other placements, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your scribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.